Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at some of these coins and we're only going to look again, I know it's boring, at Ethereum and Bitcoin, but we've got to look at these to understand what's going on with the market as a whole. Um, and then, you know, once that an established uptrend or a confirmed uptrend has, has, has begun with Ethereum especially, because Ethereum's going to hold up against, uh, you know, for, I suppose, it's going to be the indicator for all altcoins' health, generally speaking. As soon as that's that's happened, well, then we can start focusing on individual coins again. But as far as Bitcoin's concerned, the uptrend is, has always been in place since back down here, since we've got this conversion baseline cross down here at this level, uh, and it's still been in play despite this dramatic sell-off here, so not particularly overly worried or concerned. And also, this corresponds this this uh, this downtrend, this sell-off, uh, it's more of a sell-off than a downtrend really, um, corresponds to the major ind indexes, you saw this with um, with all the uh, all, all the major indexes. So, yeah, they're all recovering now because this stimulus package is getting <laughs> getting pumped out. I know in the UK it's a similar vibe as well. So, um, so yeah, it, it, it's moving. Uh, but the dollar is isn't particularly weak either. Uh, we do have a, a a lower high formed here, but you know it could still be trying to muster up an uptrend here. We're not entirely sure for the moment. So, again, you know, Bitcoin has broken now above this. 20 moving average on the daily uh, and uh, last two days supported on the 21 exponential moving average so you know the the, the uptrend is, is still in play and now it's kind of pumping so what yeah, what I'm going to say is very much like I said um, I suppose uh, I suppose before all this happened is it is that Bitcoin is the distraction altcoins are the way I'm choosing to invest the vast majority of my uh, of my money um, as Bitcoin recovers Ethereum will recover in its shadow and once that uptrend has begun you will wish well I'm, I'm not a financial advisor so I shouldn't say that I would regret should I say not buying into altcoins down at these levels not all of them obviously but some of them you know, I, I see as particularly undervalued oversold and um, hence the video I made the other day saying altcoins are oversold you know uh, and that, that's your opportunity to start buying back in now I was prepared for more downside so I, I stagger my buys in um, uh, but uh, but if we're not going to get any more downtrend what I'm going to now do is I bought some of these lows um, I'd like to wait for an established uptrend to start buying back in even more I know if to most people they think well you didn't buy the absolute low it's about risk it's about managing risk okay I will take a stab at, at buying what I consider to be perhaps maybe a low but not with an enormous amount of my available funds I think it was like 25% um, I went in at uh, those levels which means that I've got an enormous amount of tether still um, waiting to uh, to be used uh, and I will use that in an established uptrend. I'm not going to be buying it just willy-nilly randomly because the price is technically lower. Um, it's just that's not risk management for you. That's um, that's that's madness. When we saw that the market could have come down by another 10 to 20 percent, uh, I was prepared for that as well. And then I would have staggered more in at those lows. Anyway, that's just uh, a load of me waffling on about things that don't really interest you I'm sure but what we want to see with Ethereum is what's going on here so you know most altcoins had the same sort of vibe uh, held up on the green 50 exponential moving average on the daily uh, and now we're bouncing up to the 21 exponential moving average on the daily uh, which hopefully won't be a resistance and if it is a resistance hopefully it'll only be a resistance for a few days or so um, once this is broken then we have to take out this one here and we're talking about $1,700 uh, and once that's taken, then the uptrend will uh, will will probably continue. But then, what we really want to see is this blue and this red cross conversion baseline cross, um, and that should signify uh, a, a brand new continuous uptrend on the daily. I'm not saying it's going to be massively aggressive, but what it should suggest is that there'll be a decent entry point for a long-term position on Ethereum. And then we can start talking about new all-time highs shortly after. But for the moment, um, we're still having to recover. It's not particularly bullish. It's not bullish, um, but uh, but we are having a subtle uptrend. But what's bullish is is Bitcoin is bullish. Uh, Bitcoin's still playing out the uptrend from back here, uh, not being cancelled out, and recovering above all major moving averages. So Bitcoin is bullish. But remember what I say. Bitcoin is a distraction and the real money, or should I say the larger gains, are going to be in some of these altcoins. Anyway, join my Telegram, it's completely free and there's people talking about all kinds of stuff, lots of analysis on there, not just from me, hardly ever from me actually, from lots of other very skilled and, and uh, talented people. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day, take it easy.